Next is question number 2.9. Here it says that a sample of drinking water was found to be severely contaminated with chloroform, supposed to be a carcinogen. The level of contamination was 15 ppm, ppm meaning parts per million by mass. Two questions are given. Express this in percentage by mass. And second question is determine the molality of chloroform in the water sample. So first thing, let's convert this ppm by mass. So for that we can write that 15 ppm by mass means 15 grams of chloroform. Chloroform is CHCl3 present in 10 to the past 6 grams of solution. That's the conversion. So we know what is the grams of solution and we know what is the gram of solute. Let's calculate the first one which is mass percent. So first we can write here that mass percent. What's the formula? Mass percent is mass of CHCl3 by mass of solution into 100. So mass of CHCl3 is how much? 15 grams divided by mass of the solution is how much? 10 to the power 6. So 10 to the power 6 meaning I'll have 6 zeros here into 100. Two zeros will get cancelled. So the remaining is 15 into 10 to the power minus 4 percentage. Shift the decimal over here. You will get 1.5 10 to the power minus 3 percent. So that is the mass percent. Second one is calculate molality of chloroform in the water sample. So here we can say that molality formula is number of moles of solute by mass of solvent in kg. Mass of solvent in kg is given but that mass of solvent in kg is not given to us directly instead we have mass of solution. So we need to calculate that. So let's do that step by step. Number of moles is also not given to us. So let's calculate number of moles first. The number of moles of solute. Solute here is chloroform which is given mass by molar mass. Given mass of the solute is given here 15 grams. Molar mass we have to calculate. So let's calculate the molar mass of CHCl3 which is 1 atom into 12 which is the atomic mass of carbon. 1 atom of hydrogen into 1 which is the atomic mass of hydrogen plus 3 atoms of Cl into 35.5 which is the atomic mass of chlorine. When I simplify all this, I will get 119.5 gram per mole, which is the molar mass of chloroform. Let's substitute it back in the number of moles. Given mass of the solute is 15 grams, divided by molar mass is here 119.5 gram per mole. Gram and gram will get cancelled. When I substitute this, I will get 0 0.1255 moles. So number of moles we know. Next we need to calculate is mass of solvent. So to get mass of solvent we have mass of solute, we have mass of solution. Very easy thing. We can get mass of solution is what mass of solute plus mass of solvent. Of this mass of solute we know, 15 grams mass of solution also we know, we need to calculate mass of solvent. So we can write mass of solvent equals mass of solution. Mass of solution is what? 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 
6. Minus mass of solute is 15 grams. So when I simplify this, I'll get 99998 grams. So this 99998 grams is nothing but approximately 10 to the power 6 grams. So I'll just leave it as it is. <coughs> Alright. So I'll just leave it as 10 to the power 6 grams itself. Now this grams, we can't leave it in grams. We have to convert it to kg. So for that converting to kg, I will write the relation here as 1 kg equals 1000 grams. That's the general relationship. Now x kg is equal to 10 to the power 6 grams. So we'll write 6 zeros here. Okay. Now when I cross multiply this, I will get x kg is... 10 to the power 6 grams divided by 1000 grams. Cancel out these zeros. I will end up getting 10 to the power 3 kg. Alright. So I got what is the volt mass of the solute. So here, mass of solvent, when I convert this to gram kg, it will be 10 to the power 3 kg. Let's substitute. Now we have what is the mass of solvent in kg. We have what is the moles of solute put it back in the formula here number of moles of solute is what here 0 0.1255 moles by mass of solvent in kg is 10 to the power 3 kg when i divide it this one you will get it as 1.25 10 to the power minus 4 moles kg will become per kg that is going to be the molality of chloroform so first answer is here the second one is here